I mean, it's a frustrating time uh, here in the southeast of uh, England, but it's also a very frustrating time for Matty Ryan. Now, what's going on? Wasn't even on the bench for Brighton. Um, he's missed, what, has it been at least the last three games? Um, I think the last not, two. The last, last two he's two. been out and uh, not even in the squad. But to not be in the squad, I mean, that's yeah. it's been the first time in a long time we've not even had an Aussie in the Premier League. I mean, it's scary. Yeah, it is scary. Um, more importantly, the, the, the concerning thing for me, uh, for Matty, is, you know, if he's not in the squad, there may have been a bit of a falling out. Whatever it is, and the manager believes he needs to get his head right, that's, that's another thing, you know, and, and, and you kind of leave someone out of the squad and, and it might take a couple of weeks for him to do so, right? Which I, I don't understand. But when you hear the manager come out and say that realistically, like, you know, it's going to be tough for him. And if he wants to play, he's been a great servant of the club and, you know, he may look to go elsewhere. I mean, you're opening the door and you're pretty much saying, go and find yourself another club. Yeah. And, I, and I feel for him, you know, that, that, that's, that's really hard to take. You know, when you're in the side, you feel that there, there have been issues in the team uh, in terms of performances at times, or can see goals. But what he's basically doing is he's, he's, he's singling him out as being a bit of a scapegoat, really. Mm. Um, and he obviously had it earmarked for a while that he was looking at uh, leaving him out because he already dropped him at one stage, brought Sanchez in uh, away at Spurs, didn't go quite to plan, and then brought Matty back in again. So um, I think the writing was kind of on the wall for him a little bit, um, and I can imagine, you know, being in that position, he's probably thought, right, I'm going to get back in, I'm going to do well, I'll do best as I possibly can, and, he, and, and there's no reason, in my opinion, to say, well, well, there's no way to say, well, actually, he hasn't performed well, even in the last couple of weeks, to justify taking him out of the team. Mm. So that's clearly a personal thing in terms of maybe style of football, maybe type of goalkeeper that uh, Graham Potter believes that, that in Sanchez, he's got someone that can offer him more to his team in the way that he wants to play. That's the only way I can see it. So it's, one thing I would say, though, every time, certainly when I watch Matty Ryan, I might be watching with Socceroos goggles on. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm aware of that. We love him. Uh, so, it, you know, there might be that. But I'm looking at some of the, the goals prevented um, data that we've got here. So for Matty Ryan, he has played 990 minutes, which is pretty much, you know, every... Well, he's obviously, you know, only missed a couple of games, right? So there's only, you know, a few more players. You, you, Larissa's um, you know, Edison's of the world that have played sort of every game, but he's conceded 14 um, and his goals prevented is minus 5.3, uh, which is the second worst in the yeah. league. Yeah. You know what? I mean, <laughs> stats are interesting at times because you can, if you clearly go off stats, it can paint a very, very poor picture, but I don't think you can judge just on stats. I think you've got to, have even for a goalkeeper, though, of, isn't it? You, you, even for a goalkeeper, though, isn't it? Is the stat not you? You prevent the goal or you let in the goal? Yeah, but the the question is, how preventable is it for the goalkeeper? So, is it a goal that the goalkeeper should have saved, or is it a mm-hmm. goal that actually had very little chance of saving, but there was a percentage that you could save it and he didn't? I mean, you, you've got to see it in real life to be able to to be able to judge whether or not there were genuinely preventable or not preventable you know sure that's why i'm saying i think the stats can be deceiving um i mean listen when you when you're down there on all those stats it's it's never great right so you're obviously having a tough time and it's not always you can't always just pinpoint the goalkeeper and say it's the goalkeeper's fault on all these things um and 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 likewise when you're keeping clean sheet after clean sheet. It's not just the goalkeeper. It's the defense. It's the guys in front of them. It's the, the whole other 10 other players on the side. And it's the same when it comes to many in goals, unless you're letting in really poor goals, unless you're making blatant mistakes that are on your shoulder. And Matty hasn't... No. I can't remember the last time he made a, a, blatantly, a blatant mistake that's led to a goal. So, you know, when they analyze it, does he sit there and say he should have saved... You know, half the goals should have saved a quarter of them. I, I'm not sure. Who knows? But he's clearly got a. Dis- he's made a decision, Graham Potter, that he that he wants to have a different type of goalkeeper in goal. He said it after the game at Fulham. Um, I, I saw his interview and he talked about Sanchez, about the ability Sanchez has to kick the ball long, and yeah. uh, to play out at the back. And he believed that he was very well suited to his side. So that's telling me that 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 the kind of aspects of the game that maybe he feels that Matty's not at the same level. I, I mean, that, I'm only going by what he's saying. So that's how I'm reading into it. 
Um, and and that, that's got to be, you know, it's, it's difficult to take for Matty because, you know, Matty's a good goalkeeper and, and, I, and I'm, I'm, I am surprised he's out of the side.